So I recently did a couple of videos about the Traveller's Tales logo that legendary fantasy artist Rodney Matthews created for us in the mid-90s. Rodney has created some amazing artwork over the decades for rock groups such as Thin Lizzy, Asia and Magnum, and it was amazing to have him design the most distinctive and well-loved logos for Traveller's Tales. Well after my recent videos Rodney has been in touch and we've decided it would be fun to have him design a new logo for Game Hut. By the way, Rodney has a Twitter account which is at Rodney M Studios. Be great if you could all go follow him and see the amazing art he's created over the years. So anyway, I gave him a quick brief of having it been the critter from our original logos but playing a video game, preferably with a hut in the background. So here is his first sketch with options of the Game Hut logo either above or below. They're cool, but I felt it would be better to get a hut in there and to try and give a nod to the layout of the original logos. So here's the second version. This works really well. It clearly ties in with the original logo, but also with the elements that tie it to Game Hut. We obviously have the hut behind the character and the character is playing on a Nintendo Switch-like console. The GH of Game Hut replaces the TT on the milestone that he's leaning on. Here are the two logos side by side for comparison. You can see the hut replaces the moon, but we still have the rest of the elements represented. Then I thought we could try a few Rodney twists to the actual game hut text. Here's one version, and here's another that I preferred in principle. So I got Rodney to add it to the picture which you can see here. But after thinking about it for a while, I decided to stick with the original game hut logo. It's meant to evoke retro games with square edges and the roof being a pixel at 45 degrees. And so I felt having the curves added to the logo kind of lost that feel. So then I asked Rodney if he could put some test color on the sketch to see if the game hut palette would work. The colors I use for game huts are white, gray, black, and orange. So here's the rough logo sketch with those colors applied by Rodney. Now it has a certain something to it for sure, but I didn't think the white clothes were working and the hut looked too yellow. So I said that Rodney should just use the colours he felt would best suit the logo when he does the final painting. So Rodney has gone off and worked on the full and final painting of the logo, and hopefully I'll be able to show it you really soon. As always, please like or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.